Buckle up, buttercups. It's time to dive into the electrifying world of global trade wars. The trade war is electrifying, literally and figuratively, as the battle for dominance in the electric vehicle market heats up. Hey there, Globetrotters and news junkies. Ever get the feeling the world's a giant playground and some kids just can't share the toys? Well, that's exactly what's happening on the global stage right now. Swap sandboxes for factories and toys for electric vehicles and you've got yourself the latest trade spat between China and the European Union. It's a high-stakes game where the future of green technology is at play. It's a clash of titans, folks. On one side we have China, the reigning champ of EV production churning out electric cars at an unprecedented rate. On the other side, the European Union, a major player striving for green dominance, is determined to carve out its own space in the electric vehicle market. Think of it like a Tesla drag race, high stakes, fierce competition, and enough sparks to power a small city. The tension is palpable as both sides rev their engines, ready to outpace the other. But why all the drama? What's fueling this intense rivalry? The EU slapped tariffs on Chinese electric cars claiming unfair competition. They argue that China's state subsidies give their EVs an unfair advantage in the market. China, feeling ganged up on, took its case to the World Trade Organization. They argue that the EU's tariffs are a protectionist move designed to stifle competition and protect their own fledgling EV industry. Now everyone's waiting with bated breath to see who blinks first. Will the EU stand firm on its tariffs, or will China find a way to counteract the move? The stakes are high and the outcome could reshape the global EV market. Let's go! Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Trade spats and playground brawls, finding the common ground. In the world of international trade, disputes can often feel as personal and intense as childhood squabbles on a playground. Imagine this, you're a kid on a playground, happily building a Lego castle. Each brick you place is a step towards your dream creation a symbol of your hard work and creativity. Suddenly a bigger kid swoops in, claiming your masterpiece as their own. Not cool, right? It feels unfair, like all your effort has been snatched away in an instant. That's kind of what the EU thinks China's doing with electric vehicles. They see China as the bigger kid on the playground, taking over the market with aggressive tactics. See, China's been dominating the EV market. They've got the factories, the technology, and they're selling cars at prices that make competitors sweat. Their efficiency and scale are unmatched, making it hard for others to keep up. The EU, along with the US, is worried. They claim China is undercutting the market with government subsidies, giving Chinese companies an unfair advantage. These subsidies, they argue, distort the market and make it impossible for fair competition. They say it's like racing against a car that gets a head start and unlimited fuel. Imagine trying to compete in a race where your opponent has all the advantages, leaving you struggling to keep up. Now, we all know fair play is crucial, whether it's on the playground or in the global economy. Fair competition ensures that everyone has a chance to succeed based on their merits and efforts. The EU's tariffs are their way of saying, hey, Play fair or pay the price, these tariffs are intended to level the playing field, making sure that no one can gain an unfair advantage through subsidies or other means. But is it that simple? Hold on to your hats, folks, because things are about to get interesting. The world of international trade is complex with many factors at play. As we delve deeper, we'll explore the nuances and implications of these trade disputes and what they mean for the future of the global economy. China cries foul, a deep dive into the WTO complaint. China isn't taking this line down. They filed a complaint with the World Trade Organization, the referee of global trade. They argue that the EU's tariffs violate international trade rules and are nothing more than protectionist measures designed to shield European car makers from competition. I think of the WTO as the United Nations of Trade, where countries hash out their differences and try to keep things civil. China's argument is that the EU's tariffs are like changing the rules of a soccer match halfway through because you're losing. China's complaint is A. 
Big deal. If the WTO sides with them, the EU could be forced to drop the tariffs. But if they rule in favor of the EU, it could embolden other countries to take similar action against Chinese goods. The EU side of the story. Why tariffs? The EU isn't backing down. They are firm in their stance and believe that their actions are justified. They argue that China's EV dominance isn't just about being good at business, it's about unfair government support. The EU claims that the Chinese government is heavily involved in the EV market, providing substantial financial backing to their manufacturers. They say China is playing dirty, pumping billions into their EV industry, offering subsidies that make their cars artificially cheap. This, according to the EU, creates an uneven playing field where European car makers struggle to compete. Imagine trying to sell lemonade next to someone giving it away for free. It's a simple analogy, but it captures the essence of the EU's argument. They believe that without these subsidies, Chinese EVs wouldn't be as competitively priced. That's the uphill battle European car makers face, according to the EU. They are up against a market that is heavily skewed in favor of Chinese manufacturers due to these subsidies. They claim these tariffs are a necessary evil, a way to level the playing field and protect European jobs. The EU believes that without these tariffs, the European car industry could suffer significant losses, leading to job cuts and economic downturns. The EU also argues that these tariffs are about more than just economics. They see it as a matter of principle, a stand against what they perceive as unfair trade practices. They say it's about standing up for fair trade practices and making sure China plays by the rules. The EU wants to ensure that all players in the global market adhere to the same standards and regulations. They're basically saying, we're all for free trade, but it has to be fair trade. The EU's message is clear. They support open markets, but they won't tolerate practices that they believe undermine fair competition. By implementing these tariffs, they hope to send a strong message to China and the rest of the world about the importance of fair trade. Sticker shock. How EV tariffs hit your wallet. Now let's talk about you, the consumer, because this trade war isn't just some abstract economic theory, it affects your wallet. The tariffs imposed by the EU range from 13.1% to 27.5%, depending on the type of electric vehicle. What does that mean in plain English? Well, that shiny new Chinese-made Eve you've had your eye on just got a whole lot more expensive. The tariffs are like adding a hefty tax on top of the already existing price tag. This could make European-made EVs more appealing, but it also limits your choices and could stifle innovation. After all, competition is what drives companies to create better, more affordable products. Jobs on the line, the impact on employment. This trade war isn't just about money, it's about people's livelihoods. On one hand, the EU argues that these tariffs are essential to protect European jobs in the automotive industry. They fear a flood of cheap Chinese EVs could force European car makers to cut jobs or even shut down factories. On the other hand, China argues that the tariffs will harm its own workers. Potentially leading to job losses in its booming EV sector, it's a classic case of my workers versus your workers, with both sides claiming they're fighting for their people. The truth is, it's a complex issue with no easy answers. The impact on jobs will depend on various factors, including how long the tariffs remain in place and how consumers respond. Green dreams derailed the environmental cost. Here's an ironic twist. This trade war, ostensibly about protecting industries and jobs, could end up harming the environment. How so? Well, electric vehicles are seen as a key tool in the fight against climate change. They produce zero tailpipe emissions, making them a cleaner alternative to gasoline-powered cars. But if tariffs make EVs more expensive, fewer people will buy them, slowing down the transition to a greener future. It's a classic case of short-term economic interests clashing with long-term environmental goals. It raises the question, can we afford to let a trade war derail our efforts to combat climate change? A world on edge, the global trade implications. This isn't just a European or a Chinese issue. It has global implications. The outcome of this trade dispute could set a precedent for how other countries handle the rise of China's EV industry. If the EU succeeds in using tariffs to protect its car makers, other countries might be tempted to follow suit. This could lead to a cascade of protectionist measures, fragmenting the global trading system and potentially sparking a full-blown trade war.
On the other hand, if the WTO rules against the EU, it could embolden China and other countries to challenge existing trade rules more aggressively. This could lead to a more chaotic and unpredictable global trading environment. What's next? Predicting the future of the EV showdown. So what's next in this high-stakes game of EV chess? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it, isn't it? The WTO's decision will be a major turning point. If they side with China, the EU will be under pressure to drop the tariffs. They rule in favor of the EU, China will need to decide its next move. Will they retaliate with tariffs of their own? Will they try to negotiate a compromise? One thing's for sure, this trade dispute is far from over. It's a complex issue with no easy solutions. The outcome will have a significant impact on the future of the EV industry, global trade, and our collective efforts to combat climate change. Join the conversation, your thoughts matter. Well, folks, there you have it, the China-EU EV trade war in a nutshell. It's a complicated issue with far-reaching consequences. But enough from me, now it's your turn to weigh in. What do you think about the EU's tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles? Are they justified, or are they a case of protectionism? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you find any funny videos about this trade war, be sure to share those too. After all, laughter is the best medicine especially when the world feels like it's on the brink of a trade war. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.